set up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one shoe, better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad Baby, I'm bad I got What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. Cece Reacts. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need for you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Please like the videos if you're watching the content. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more content from me. And please spread the love. Please share the videos. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Listen, each one of my videos are in chronological order. So if you feel like you've missed the episode, you've missed something, or if you're new here, please go back, hit the playlist, bring yourself up to speed. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Now, I hear a lot of people asking me, Cece, can we get more content? Cece, can you make longer videos? Cece, 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 Cece. Listen, more content is here. The Sea Hive is available to each and every one of you. All you got to do is sign up. If you need a link, just say, hey, Cece. See, I need a link. I'll be Johnny on the spot dropping the link. Now, check this out. I have some podcasts coming to YouTube. Yes, I do. Where would they be? They won't be on this channel. I have another channel called Cooking with CC, and this is where the podcast will be. Listen, if you have not subscribed, please go subscribe to the channel so you can check me out. Listen, until then, y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy this fire, fire episode. Y'all be smooth. Bye. Y'all listen. When I stepped foot back up in Pittsburgh, I was a brand new woman. I had just got through filming that next episode, and I knew that next episode was going to be fire. You know, um, I, I I had some different energy on me. I had a different charge to me. You know, Rick had put that battery in my back. Um, I just knew um, the next time we I stepped foot up in Philly to film um, the, the next episode of Bricks of an Empire, that it was going to be amazing. You know, um, and what I needed to do in order to make that amazing, I needed to make some progress. You know, in my head, I needed to let people know that my new book was out, you know, and in order to make that like an accurate assessment or an accurate statement, I needed to put out a damn book. So soon as I, I touched back down in Pittsburgh, you know, um, not going to lie to you. I was on Rick down phone. He made a mistake giving me his number. I kept calling that man. I don't give a damn what time it was up in Cali. He had went back. I don't care what time it was. I kept calling him. You know, and believe it or not, he answered his phone, which made me even, it made me feel even more, it made me feel like amazing. You know, in my eyes, Rick was a superstar. You know, he's a big celebrity in my head. And he picking up the phone for me. You know, so when I call this man and he's picking up the phone, I don't want to be, uh, uh, just, 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 yay, how you doing? How's the weather? No, bitch, I wanted a plan. You know, so when I call him, my intentions was to, when I got off the phone, to be a step closer to my dream, you know, which was publishing my book. So I tell Rick, when he answers that phone, I tell Rick, I say, hey, listen, I say, I want to go ahead and get this book out. Before the next time I film Bricks of an Empire, you know, so he tell me, he say, see, listen, he say, I don't have a publishing company yet, you know, in order for you to put the book out. I said, well, that's all right. You know, um, in my head, I know how to create a damn publishing company. Bitch, I done been sad to him. I know how I work. I know how the books go. I know how the auditing go. I know how to do all that. I know how the paperwork go. I know how to do everything. You know, I don't even know how to design book covers. So I tell him, I say, you ain't got to worry about it. You know, you're not even putting no money up. He was, he wasn't putting no money up for my book. I was funding my own book, but he said I could use his name. You know, so I tell him once again, you ain't got to worry about like putting the publishing company together. I said, I'll put your publishing company together as long as I'm the first author on there. I said, then once I get my book rolling, you know, we could go ahead 
and, and venture out and start grabbing other authors to put under Freeway Publications. He said, Freeway Publications? I said, absolutely. I said, that'll be the name of your publishing company. I said, if you give me permission to get this stuff started, I'm going to get it started today. He said, yeah. He said, if you know how to do it, he said, go ahead. I said, I'm going to do you one better. I said, if you allow me to be the first author on Freeway Publications, I said, uh, uh, when my, when a book sale, you know, you get, you get, you get your 15% off the royalty. You know, he said, you going to pay me? Absolutely. You know, it's in my head, it's fair exchange. You're letting me, you're allowing me to put out my product using your name. That's just like if you create a shoe line and I'm being real with you. If you create a shoe line and, and you have your shoe, you got your shoe. That's your shoe. You know what I'm saying? And you feel like your name isn't big enough to push your product. And Nike comes along and say, damn, bitch, I like your shoe. You know, how about Nike endorsing you? How about Nike say, hey, this is, um, I'm just going to use my shoe name. Benny C. Benicio bought to you by Nike. Bitch, you going. You know what I'm saying? You going. And since he's not asking for no money, let me allow me to pay you. Let me allow you to pay you. When I break, when when people buy my stuff, I'm going to break bread with you. Fair exchange. Ain't no robbery. You know what I'm saying? That's the least I can do. He tell me, say, see, sure. You know, set it up. Set it up. Whatever you want to do. Then he goes on a step further to tell me. He say, see, listen, if you can't get in contact with me, I'm going to give you Echo number. Echo is one of Rick's managers, you know, he said, I'm gonna give you echo number. He said he'll, he'll be able to help you if you can't get in contact with me, you know, um, hit up echo, you know, hit up echo. I tell him, I said, thank you. He sent me echo number and I'm excited. Now, the only thing that was standing in my damn way, um, of me being great was piece of Palermo. You know what I'm saying? Now I couldn't just show my ass and just be like, piece of Palermo, you know, I still had to go to work, I still had to show up, and I still had to put my best foot forward, but I couldn't do, I couldn't go to work, show up, and put my best foot forward, if I'm trying to build over here, so bitch, I'ma show up to work, but I'm not going to work to work, it just is what it is, I'm going to work to do what I'm supposed to do, but you're not getting all of me, because I need to put all of me into this other bitch business venture over here, because I know that's my future, that's gonna take me the hell up out of piece of Palermo, and that was the plan, you know what I'm saying? Now, Nene wasn't back uh, when I got to Pittsburgh. She was still in Chicago. So I need to seize the opportunity. You know, um, I need to go ahead, go over my book cover. I already had the book wrote. You know, was it well edited? Absolutely damn not. But bitch, I didn't have time to well edit. It was good enough for the moment. But I need to get my book cover. So I go to work and I'm in my head how I want my book cover to look. You know what I'm saying? Have it go like like I said. I'm on on I'm on a shift with Cynthia. You know, um, a, a dude comes in the store. Um, I don't pay no attention to him. I'm over there at my station. I'm really not trying to mingle with the customers because I don't want to. You know, I don't want to break my concentration. Have it go. Uh, she ring the dude up. I hear him talking. He talked too damn much. I don't like a man that talks too much. You know what I'm saying? He talked too much. She want to be seen, but all the time he sound old as hell. You know what I'm saying? So I look up, I get a glance of him. He's the dude gotta be about 51, 52 years old. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Notice that off back because life ain't been good to his ass. So you see how his skin crack, lip bit. He looked just like Carl Winslow. You know what I'm saying? Bald in the center, still got the hair around of the sides. He got a little taper and stuff. And I'm thinking somebody said, boy, cut that damn stuff off your head. You know what I'm saying? Cut it off. Cut out. What you holding on to it for? Now, he's a big dude. You know, now I just told you he got to be about 53 years old. Have it go. Uh, he got a jogging outfit. A Nike jogging outfit. Can't see his shoes. But what, what, what bothered me about the whole damn outfit is, first of all, the sweater is too damn tight. You know, now I just told you he about 56 years damn old. It's a sweater too tight. And the pants, he got the damn jogging pants sagging, hanging around his damn ass. Now, even though he look like Carl Winslow in the face, he look like a root in a damn body. His body is shaped like this, this. You know what I'm saying? He's big at the top, small at the damn bottom. You know, now why is your damn pants, and you, you 59 years old, why in the hell is your damn pants up under your ass? You know what I'm saying? That's not attractive. It's not appealing. Have it go. He's trying to talk to Cynthia. You know what I'm saying? I grab the ticket because the ticket prints up. Once you ring up, you know, order. A ticket prints, prints up on the appropriate side. 
You know, it's either a hoagie side or the pizza side. It prints up on my side. I pull the ticket down. He want a buffalo chicken hoagie. You know what I'm saying? I tear the ticket off, um, stick the ticket up there. I put my gloves on. I go over there to the to the cooler. I grab two crispy chickens and drop them in the grease. And I grab me a handful of buffalo fries and I drop those in the grease. You know what I'm saying? On a crispy chicken hoagie, you cut up the, I mean, a um, buffalo chicken hoagie. You cut up the chicken, the crispy chicken. You put it on the hoagie bread um you put the buffalo fries on top of there you take the hot sauce this thick ass hot sauce that pizza palermo is famous for you put that on top of that and you take a handful of pizza cheese well that's what i use i don't like to use the regular uh uh provolone or mozzarella i like the pizza cheese you know because it melts different you take a handful of pizza cheese put that on top you put it through the oven for three minutes you know what i'm saying that's how you make a buffalo chicken hoagie however it goes um when i drop the the the, the chicken and everything and i let it come up I take the chicken and the fries, bring it back over there, and I get the, you know, cutting up everything the way it's supposed to go. Have it go, I see the dude at my peripheral walk over there, right? So he got his big hog head ass, um, his head, you know, peeking over the side. Now I'm trying to ignore him because, dude, I'm focused in my head. I don't got time for you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you already look funny looking. Don't start sticking your damn boy head over here uh, 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 thinking I want to co uh, converse with you. You know, have it go. I hear, hey, excuse me. Don't I know you? You know what I'm saying? So I look up at him. I just glance up. I tell him, I said, no, nah, I don't think so. You know, so he tell me, he say, man, he said, I never forget a face. He said, you a little bigger than what I'm used to. You know, first of all, bitch, don't come up here talking about my weight. When you, 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 you got everybody weight on you. You know what I'm saying? Your ass is obese at the top and you, 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 you dyslexic at the, not dyslexic, you know, anorexic at the bottom. You know what the hell I meant. You know what I'm saying? Don't come here talking about no weight. Because you, you you missed a whole bunch of days. Yo, how in the hell yo, your body got a cutoff switch? You know what I'm saying? You just take out all the calories at the top, but you don't got none at the bottom. You know, how is that possible? Now, your jaw's too tight if you ask me. You need to loosen them up so you, your weight can fall the hell down. It is what it is. He gonna tell me I'm a little bigger than what he used to, but he'll never forget my face. I tell him, I don't know you. You know, so I keep uh, um, putting the, the sub together, putting the sub together, putting the sub together. So he pull out his phone and he goes scrolling through his phone and he holds his phone up to me. He said, ain't this you? Ain't this you? So I look up. It is me. He's on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, that's me. He was like, sweetheart, you want to get my messages? Bitch, I don't know. You know I wasn't getting your messages. No. You know what I'm saying? I don't check no damn messages. No. You know, he, man, I seen you on, on this chick page. And I've been following you with this. The chick who he talking about is Jamie. Remember when Jamie put that damn picture of me up? When I way back when I was at Subway, before I was even at Subway, and TT was thinking, uh, 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 me and the, 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 the damn die. She, she, she sit up there and she, uh, sit up there and say, you know, Sky, the, the Sky, the bitch. Sit up there and say, hey, y'all, everybody going cool, crazy over this bitch. But she, she, she sitting up there. She, she got HIV on them. Huh? Huh? That's the picture he's talking about. He go to my page. You know what I'm saying? He been following me since then. He goes on to tell me, you know, um, why you ain't been answering my message, dude? Because I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting irritated because I want him to go ahead. I done backed his hoagie up and I done stuck, stuck his hoagie on the counter. You could go on about your business, you know? He tell me, he say, man, he said, I've been watching you and everything you've been doing. I say, okay, you know, I go back over there to my counter and I start cleaning up. He said, I just want to let you know, you know, if you need some talent, some real talent in your stuff. He say, man, I'm one of the coldest rappers out here. I look up at him. This man is 63 years old. How the hell is you still trying to aspire to be a damn rapper? You know what I'm saying? So he done picked the hoagie up and he got his damn hand. He holding his jogging pants up. You know what I'm saying? Holding his jogging looking like a goddamn fool. You know, dude, go ahead from here. He tell me, he say, no, no, listen, he's on some real stuff. I'm one of the coldest rappers out here in Pittsburgh. He, man, they call me Wizzle. You 65 years old. Why the hell is somebody calling you Wizzle? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, what, what, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Why, 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 why is this how society is? You know, what, what, it is what it is. You know, I tell him, I say, okay, I'll keep that in mind. I say, if I, I got an opportunity for you, I say, I'll, I'll hit you back. He said, no, no, no. He said, man, right now is the time. Check me out. He goes back in his phone and he put on some music. 
You know what I'm saying? And he holding the damn music, the phone over the counter, and I'm getting irritated because it ain't like the damn music sound good. It sound horrible. Well, got that damn music. It's got it on. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. A customer comes in the door. You know, I want to get away from dude. I I I, I want to get away from him, so I want to seem like I'm extra busy. So he still got the phone uh, held over the counter, and I'm walking towards the register to greet the customer. He walking with me like he Radio Raheem, and that's my theme song. You know, have it go. I don't say nothing to him. I'm letting him get it off because I want him to think I'm listening to it so he can go ahead and get the hell out of my face. You know what I'm saying? So I tell old girl, because it's a chick, I say, welcome to Pizza Palermo House. May I help you? She get ready to tell me her order. He, hey, hey, sweetheart, I'm talking to her. I'm talking to her. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? He put his hand up to old girl's face so she can't make a deal. Dude, you got your food. Let this lady get hers. You know, I tell him, I say, look, I say, right now, I can't do anything for you. I say, I'm at work. I say, you've been a distraction. You know what I'm saying? If I have an opportunity for you, I promise you, I'll hit you up. He, so that's how you going to do it? That's how you going to do it. I said, sweetheart, I said, I just let you, I just let you know. If I have an opportunity for you, I'm going to hit you up. So he tell me, he said, why don't you take my number? Well, I'm not taking your number. I said, send it in my inbox. Put it in my inbox. You know, he, no, nah, I want to put it in your phone. I'm not giving you my phone to put your damn number up in there so you can push down and get my number. I'm not doing that. I said, I said, no, nah, I don't feel comfortable handing you my phone. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, put it in my inbox. Like I said, if I got opportunity for you. I'm going to hit you back. He all right. He ain't say, all right. He all right. He all right. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. All that. You know, hold his pants, his jogger pants. They still up under his little thin ass. And he walk on up out the door. You know what I'm saying? He keep, look, keep looking back up in the mirror, meaning up in the window, at me like I'm finna talk about him. I want to forget all about this man. You know what I'm saying? I want to forget all about this man. Take this lady order. I go on here and I'm back. You know, and fix the food up. Give it to her. And I go back into my zone. You know, uh, the next day I'm off. So what I do is, um, when I'm off, what I do is I set up there and I created the cover, my front, my back, and my spine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I came up with the idea. I found the images for memoirs of a cold blooded bitch. Um, found the images that I wanted to have. I placed the words the way I wanted to place it. I created my own, uh, scenario, how I wanted my book cover. You know, um, once I was done um, tweaking the letters and tweaking the image and all this other stuff, creating a logo for the uh, Freeway Wick Walks publications, all that, I was happy with my product. You know what I'm saying? So I send the the I send the copy of it to Echo. You know, I send a copy of it to Echo. Now I send it. Now I'm the type of person if I'm really on something. And 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 I I I want I'm trying to get some stuff done because I only got two days off work. These next two days I got off work. It just is what it is. So I need to get as much done as possible with this. You know what I'm saying? So I send Echo to cover. And like I said, I'm the type of person that if I send you something and I need your approval or something, bitch, I'm expecting for you to hit me right back. Y'all, I send this. I send them the cover. I don't get no response. No response. A whole hour passed. You know what I'm saying? So I sent him some question marks like, yo, what you think of this cover? You know, a whole nother hour passed. He don't say nothing. So in my head, I'm giving the nigga more credit than he deserves. I'm thinking he he busy. You know, um, he busy. So I wait a whole nother hour uh, and he still don't respond. So finally, it's like, shoot, let me call him. You know what I'm saying? Cause the day is the day is going going. It's getting they, you, I, I got I gotta seize the day. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, y'all got no time to wait. I sent you a text message three hours ago. You ain't even checked on it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't hit me back. You ain't saying yeah, ain't made nothing. Bad dog, bitch, nothing. You ain't saying nothing. So I go ahead, I call him. You know what I'm saying? Some hello. You know he yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who is this? I say this CC. Who is CC? I said, I was just with you the other night with Freeway Rick Ross. Bitch, you know who CC is. You know what I'm saying? So he, yeah, what's up? I said, the book cover. I said, can you tell me um, yes, no? He, what's the book cover for? I said, because I'm writing a book. We talked about this up in the studio. So right now in my head, you just being an ass. You know, um, he, well, what Freeway Rick Ross name doing on it? You didn't clear that with me. Bitch, I'm sending you the cover now to clear it with you. What you mean? You know, 
I told him I said Rick said I can use what you was standing right there. Rick said I could use his name. You know what I'm saying? I said Freeway Rick Ross Publication is the name of the publication company that that's his. So he, why didn't nobody tell me? I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Rick told me to call your house. Would I get your number? I didn't get your, I didn't take your number. You're like me and you, when we was in front of one another, I didn't get your number. How else would I get your number? You know what I'm saying? Stop. Come on, man. So he, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, uh, let me tell you how stuff work around here. You know, Rick would say yes to anything. This is what this man tell me. Rick would say yes to anything. So, 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 you need to, you need to clear everything with me first. You don't go to Rick first. And this is how he talks to him. You don't, you, 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 you don't go to Rick first. You, you come to me first. I tell you yes or no. So I'm, I'm getting irritated because bet you're not my daddy and you're not Rick. You know what I'm saying? And now while he talking to me, I go ahead, I go over to Instagram because I need to know just how important this dude is. Why he talking to me crazy. I don't like the way he talking to me. See, this is the problem with a lot of people who have something going for themselves. They think they got something going for themselves. They think they need to down the next person. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and he talking to me like I done stole something or some damn stuff. Now, we all know I steal something. But, bitch, I ain't stole nothing. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. Um, I go over to Rick Instagram while this dude talking to me. Because at this point, he talking to me so reckless. And it's it's the, the way he talking to me, it's not even warning. You know what I'm saying? He talking to me like he David Ruffy. And I'm the damn Temptations. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody coming to see you, Otis. He talking to me like that. You know, and I'm looking at Rick Page, and I realize Rick can't take a damn photo without this dude being in it. You know what I'm saying? So he's talking to me like this because he want to be Rick. You know, he on a power trip. So I, 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 I picked that up. I say, okay. So I say, okay. You know, I say, my bad. I get back to him. My bad. You know, Rick told me once I create all this stuff, you know, send it to you to, you know, so... I can get it clear. He, so, so what you want me to do with this? What, what you want me to do with this? See, I say, that's the book cover. He, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I say, you don't like it. He said, nah, I don't like it. Go, go back and do something else. And this is how he's talking to me. He carrying me like a hoe. You know, it's pissing me off. Have it go. I tell him, I say, okay, cool. Now he don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So that mean, in my head, that mean Rick ain't going to like it. So I go ahead, I, I get back on the computer, and I go ahead, I mess around with the stuff again. You know what I'm saying? I send it to him. When I send it to him, now I just got off the phone with him, you know, so you 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 privy as to what's going on. I send it to him, 30 minutes go past. He ain't saying nothing. I call him. You know, he pick, he pick right up. You know, he I'm looking at it now. You know, um, I don't like it. Do something else. And it, it's not, he not giving me why he don't like it, nothing. He just don't like it. Do something else. I tell him, I say, okay, cool. You know, I get off the, I get off the phone with him and I go back. Now my whole thing is, what don't you like about this? You know what I'm saying? So when I do the last little thing I send to him, I call him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting on him to say, I don't like it. Do something else. You know what I'm saying? So before he get ready to say it, I say, what don't you like about this? You know, he, I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And it's irritating me. There's nothing worse. Wait, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, he, He's irritating me because he don't know what he don't like about it. He just don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, you just messing with me. You're just messing with me. So I asked him, I said, how many book covers have you ever created? He said, I, 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 I ain't never created no book cover. So, bitch, you ain't never created nothing, or no, but you criticizing me? There's nothing worse than a person who has never done what you doing or have done criticizing you. Criticizing you. You know what I'm saying? I told him, I say, well, apparently you don't know how a book cover works. You know, I said this has all the elements of a, a complete and a proper book cover, plus I like it. You know what I'm saying? He went, well, 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 if you like it, if you if you like it, then oh, okay, we go ahead and go with that. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, you f It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I go ahead, I stick with that cover. Now, next thing I do, um, and y'all, I'm giving y'all game. So if you're trying to do this, do it. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, don't use my damn name though, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. Um, I get the cover. I got my 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 back. I got my spine. You know what I'm saying? I got my synopsis put on my back. Um, what I do is I go on Amazon. You know, and I publish the book through Amazon. I get my ISBN numbers. I get everything through Amazon. My barcode, everything, everything, and I come up with a date. You know what I'm saying? Freeway Rick Ross Publications. Uh, Freeway Publications um, presents uh, Memoirs of a Cold-Blooded Bitch by Cecilia Robinson. Y'all, I was so damn hype. So hype. I get my release date. You know, um, I get everything set up. I get all of the, um, with the, the, the AD, uh, ADP, the Amazon direct publishing. I get everything set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. And I call Rick. You know what I'm saying? I don't call Echo. I call Rick. I tell Rick, I say, hey, Rick. I say, I got a release date for the book. I send him the cover. Um, he see it and he see, I love it. I love it. He said, you got all this done? I said, yeah. You know, he said, so you were serious, huh? I say, yeah. He said, see, listen, he say so many people come at me um, um, with ideas. He said, and they expect for me to make those those ideas or those dreams come true. He said, that's not you, see, is it? I said, no. I said, you gave me the opportunity. I said, this is what I'm going to do. You know, listen, y'all, y'all stay tuned. If you, oh, by the way, if you have not checked out Bricks of an Empire Part 3, it's up and it's dope. Go check that out. As soon as you get off of here, go check it out. Go check it out. I'm proud of this one. Hey, listen, y'all be smooth. Bye.